Hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Code One Digest. Today, in this video, we'll learn about aggregator design pattern for the microservices. I'll explain this design pattern with the real world example. Then I'll show you the use cases of this design pattern in our project. And later I'll explain you the advantages of using this design pattern. So stay tuned till end of this video. There is a lot of learning in this video. By end of this video, you will be able to understand what is aggregated design pattern, right? Friends, in the previous video, I explained about API gateway design pattern. Can you explain what is API gateway design pattern? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch the video. The link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Codebundizer's channel. Friends, here is the agenda for the video. I'll give you introduction of aggregator design pattern. Then I'll explain this design pattern with real world examples. Then I explain you the use cases of this design pattern in your project the scenario where you can apply this design pattern later we'll understand the benefits and advantages of this design pattern at the end i'll summarize this video what we learned in this video and at the end we'll briefly touch about our next video on proxy design pattern so stay tuned till end of this video it is going to be exciting and a lot of learning involved here friends before we proceed in this video i want you to subscribe my channel to grow code one digest family friends i'm creating a lot of quality contents for you but i'm not getting subscribers i want you to like share and subscribe my channel so that i can grow code one digest family thank you all right let's get started okay friends now let's start with aggregated design pattern Let's understand what is aggregated design pattern. And remember that this is a second design pattern in integration design patterns category of microservices. So aggregated design pattern says in microservices, the aggregator pattern is a service that receives a request. Then it makes request to multiple services and combines the result from all those services and respond back to the initiating request. The service aggregator design pattern is receives a request from the client or API gateway and then dispatch request to the multiple internal backend services and then combine the result from all those services and then reply back to the initiating request in one response structure. Aggregator microservice collects the piece of data from various microservices and return an aggregated response for processing by service aggregator pattern implementation we can reduce chattiness and communication overhead between the client and microservices in microservice architecture we split a large complex application into small autonomous independently deployable services therefore it is necessary to think about how to collaborate the data returned by each service let me explain it to you so you'll understand Let's understand aggregator design pattern with an example of university microservice application. A university has already have a monolithic system and what you have to do is to convert this monolithic system into microservice application. Imagine you have to deploy four services, a service to get student information, a service to get marks and its related information, a service to get membership information and a service to get achievements of a student moreover you have two consumer of these services that is grading system and enrichment program system so the point to understand here is your team might create one microservice for each system but what happens when grading system wants the student information and the marks information and enrichment program system wants membership and achievement information so the solution to this problem is aggregator service pattern aggregator service will take the request from grading system and invoke these two services to aggregate their response and send it back to the grading system when you invoke the grading system service you can send a parallel call to the string information 
and mark information services and get those responses to aggregate them into single response to the originating request. Now we can send this response back to the grading system. Now let's understand the aggregator pattern with another example of e-commerce application. Here aggregator microservice is orchestrating the add item call into a shopping cart operation. It aggregates the request to several backend microservices that is product, shopping cart and pricing microservices. So we can say that this pattern isolates the underlying add item operation that makes call to multiple backend microservices centralizing its logic into add item aggregator microservice. So we can apply this pattern into e-commerce application architecture by inquiring the data from multiple backend services. Right? I understood the assignment. Friends, let's understand the use cases of aggregator design pattern where and when to use in a project. So friends, use aggregator design pattern whenever you have to make multiple calls to perform an operation. You can create an aggregator service and let the aggregator service making calls to backend services and aggregating the response from all those backend services and sending you back the consolidated response for all those services. This pattern in helps you grouping set of microservices in terms of functionalities. That helps you in saving the too many calls between the client application and the microservices. The client application make a single call to aggregate service and aggregate service take care of making multiple calls to the backend service and get you the response back. Hence, it saves a lot of latency and chattiness. Friends, now let's understand the what are the advantages we get out of aggregator design pattern. Using aggregator design pattern, we can segregate the client application and the backend microservices. We can aggregate all the request into one request so that it saves some of the bandwidth and it can avoid making too many calls to and fro between the client and microservices. Aggregator pattern implementation reduces the chattiness and communication overhead between the client and microservices. It reduces the chattiness and communication overhead between the client and services, especially in the case of mobile client that may be limited in bandwidth or number of connections. Intellectually easy to understand and implement, this pattern allows engineers to develop fast time to market solution at the expense of customer availability. This pattern allow for the architecturally easily understood endpoint consolidation of discrete functionalities. Okay friends, now let me summarize what we learned in this video today. I gave you introduction of aggregator design pattern. Then I explain the real world example of aggregator design pattern. I explain you the use cases of aggregator design pattern, where to use it in your project. Then we also understood the benefits and advantages of aggregator design pattern. So friends, let me know if you have already used this pattern in any of your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be very useful. Kindly provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Friends, in the next video, we will discuss about proxy design pattern. I'll explain you what is proxy design pattern. I'll also explain you the real world example of proxy design pattern. We'll understand the use cases of proxy design pattern. And I'll also show you the benefits of proxy design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and keep watching Code One Digest. If you are new to the channel, so please do subscribe to our channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.